going on everybody and welcome back. Long time, no see, haven't been making videos obviously for about the past year. Um, I actually have another YouTube channel some of you might know about, it's called Pokey Insight, and I've actually stopped making videos for that channel and I figured that I'm going to not really combine these two channels but kind of shift my Pokemon uh, mindset over to this channel. It's become more my primary focus. Uh, the mining, I, I would like to address that really quick. Um, I know by the title of this video, I'm not quite sure what it's going to be yet, but uh, that's probably not what a lot of you have come to listen to. But if you're a returning subscriber um, from this channel, uh, we did mine uh, some stuff with GPUs here before, and I still have all my rigs and my graphics cards. Uh, I just don't have them running. Obviously not profitable right now uh, with the way the mining with um, Ethereum going proof of uh, stake and all that. Nothing has really come back uh, as strong as Ethereum and I do believe that it's going to be quite some time until I'm able to turn everything back on. Now I can make a future video if I get any interest below this one about uh, the rigs that I am currently still running because I do have solar. So I am running seven or eight graphics cards right now. I can get into that in another video, but hopefully in the future, whenever profitability does come back for GPU mining, I will be able to turn all my stuff back on and start making videos on this channel again. So uh, I hope to keep you as a subscriber if you are already a subscriber. Um, so if you are new to the channel, welcome. Uh, I'm going to start doing my Pokemon stuff on this channel and what I do for my Pokemon stuff is, is sometimes I show my collection, sometimes I go over uh, newer products that I or my son have picked up uh, but recently over the last few months and this is honestly why I haven't been making too, too many videos is I've started selling cards heavily buying bulk buying collections selling it on eBay and on TCG player and I think that's what's going to take uh, over as the main focus of this channel now it, moving forward is going to be uh, buying and selling cards showing how to do it how to set up your account how to get to that level four on TCG player It seems to be a lot of people It's not that they don't know how to do it But a fast way to do it or uh, an easy way to do it and that's what we're gonna cover on this channel uh, I will put all of my info down below here if you're interested in buying some cards off of me on my store or just browsing and seeing what I have for sale across my eBay and uh, I actually have a TCG player account and my wife has one as well they are separate um, we I use my account for uh, TCG Player Direct, and she uses her account to sell individual singles and uh, stuff that we sell here out of our house. Um, a little foresight into the future, I'm really, really hoping that at some point I can afford to open my own card shop or at least get a uh, place where I can run all of my workload and all of my sorting and my storing out of there, because currently I'm doing it in my house. and. I've run out of room just about, so probably going to have to upgrade to some shelves, and uh, well, we can get into that in future videos, but I figured for a first video it would be good to go over all of that, and then to show you kind of what I've got going on uh, as far as inventory, and uh, probably not going to be able in this video anyways to show like my accounts, but like I said, I will put the uh, links down below, so if you're asking the question, what qualifies me to give this advice, um, I've done thousands of sales um, on eBay over the course of about eight years. Uh, I have done hundreds of sales now on TCG Player. I have two accounts that are uh, level four, um, and I have 100% feedback on my regular account, and I have 99.8% feedback. You can verify all of this. Um, so I'm not super qualified, but I'm qualified enough. I've dealt with enough returns. I've dealt with enough in, uh, customers. I've dealt with enough people buying and selling cards that I can at least weigh in on these topics. So with that being said, I'm going to flip this camera around real quick. Uh, I'm going to show you my inventory, and I will explain... Uh, what inventory is what? Uh, what inventory is what? I'm sorry. And so here we go. Just give me one second. So, this is usually my workstation right here where you have this Marnie mat. I usually set up my phone on YouTube or I'll have my laptop over here, listen to some music or some podcasts, and I'll lay out all my cards on here. I will sometimes get an additional table, uh, like, a, like one of those lifetime tables, and put it right here so this way I can get a little bit more area when I'm setting everything out. But this is pretty much where it all happens. Uh, if you come right over to here, excuse the mess, you see the Danos, sorry. Um, if you come over to here, you can see I'm currently sorting, uh, what is this? Brilliant Stars, it looks like. Yeah, I'm currently sorting Brilliant Stars, so these are all sorted by color, and this is the set. 
uh, coming over to here. This is the boxes for my new main account. Uh, not my new main account, I'm sorry. My wife's main account that uh, she had recently set up. Uh, so just keeping all around. You got the light played, uh, and then you'll have the moderately played and stuff uh, on the other side. Uh, only got about a thousand cards listed onto this account, so there's definitely... Uh, I need to get some inventory listed on that account. Now, my main account that I use for TCG Player Direct, we can scoot over here, where this is all of my inventory for my TCG Player Direct. I have some here, and then I have a little bit more up here. So, obviously, this, like, I, like I've already said, this is for my TCG Player Direct, so if you were to go onto my store and look, I have about 32,000 cards listed right now, which isn't a lot compared to some people. Um, I believe the last time I checked it was around 25 or 2600 actual different cards, um, not including quantities of each. Uh, so then I will take you back into my back room and once again this isn't really like a set storage place. I need to get a new dedicated space but this is kind of where I put all of my cards while I'm waiting to list them on TCG Player. I will bring them back here. Um, these are just some cards that I, I picked up, a, I made a deal, and this is why I want to start doing these videos, and I'm sorry to rant, um, and ramble on and on, but I picked up all these cards that you're seeing off of a guy from Texas. I bought about 37,000 cards off of him, so we'll, we'll get out of here and we'll get back out to where I usually do my stuff, my workspace here. So, I had purchased all of, uh, apologize, this camera, I need to get a new tripod. So, I had purchased, this is a nightmare, <laughs> I am so sorry, this is a nightmare, I don't know what is going on with my tripod right now, so there we go, that seems to be a little better, I just want to make sure you guys can see me, so, but I had recently purchased about 37,000 cards off of a gentleman from Texas, um, it, it wasn't a great situation, and that's, I, I like I said, I, I, I'm actually making videos again, because uh, I'd like to document that stuff. Like, I really wish I would have recorded whenever I opened it. Um, there wasn't as many cards there as the guy, the gentleman said, and uh, they were definitely damaged. Um, I actually had one box that completely, it was about five, I think it was five uh, flat rate large boxes. One of them had uh, broken open because he didn't wrap it with tape. So obviously, um, I don't know if the postal service dropped it or whatever, but it exploded open and they basically just dumped it into a box with all the cards. Um, a lot of them were damaged. Uh, and of that 37,000, about 6,000 was hollows and reverse hollows. So unfortunately, I have a lot of lightly played and moderately played cards now. So um, kind of is what it is. Uh, I'm currently going through some stuff with USPS to get a little bit of a refund, turning it in for insurance purposes and whatnot, so uh, I can touch on that in the future if you guys would like to get an update on that, but uh, just buy a decent... I, I'm not going to say I buy a lot of cards, but I, I buy uh, enough cards to make a YouTube channel about it. Um, I, I buy some really, really nice ones, and nice I'm not <laughs> patting myself on the back or anything because it's, it's nothing to gloat about, but like um, definitely had some Gengar uh, alternate arts from Fusion Strike in the last 30 days. Um, just literally purchased, and I'm hoping to make a video out of it, purchased a uh, Giratina uh, V, the alter art from Lost Origins. Uh, where I closed the deal with a gentleman uh, last night on an app called OfferUp for that one. So uh, stay tuned for that video. We can look at that card when I unbox it. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm rambling, so I will let you all go. I appreciate the continued support. Um, look out for videos, like I said, in the future going over just bulk in general. Um, I've been watching a guy, and uh, shout out to TCG Bulk Kings. Um, I've been watching him. Um, I've commented on a few of his videos. He's really, he's very responsive and a super, super nice guy. So um, yeah, I, like I said, I will leave it at that, and uh, I will see you all in the next one. Have a great night. See ya.